So we're here at Harbor Marsh in um, the, the Bay Lands in the south uh, section of the San Francisco Bay, uh, southwestern edge of the San Francisco Bay um, on city of Palo Alto land. And this uh, salt marsh estuary is contiguous. It goes towards towards that away over there to um, open water. And then the other side, you're seeing the hills. That's the eastern side of the San Francisco Bay area. This is, we're walking on this trail that we're getting ready to do a, a levee um, management um, project. We're gonna try to raise the levee and see if that helps us with sea level rise, see if we can improve um, uh, pollution uh, effluent from the treatment plant, which is right behind us, those big circular things. And, um, and uh, both improve the resilience of this area to sea level rise and physical challenges, as well as um, improve uh, other ecological functioning of the system. And so uh, this is a pretty cool example. This is a publicly accessible area, so a great um, example of um, a chunk of protected habitat. This is an example of a protected area that um, has evolved a lot over time and has changed. So this was uh, more uh, uh, extensive vegetated area then was dredged heavily in the early 1900s so that um, it could provide boat access. So that white building over there was a former Sea Scout, former Sea Scout um, uh, uh, base. And so the boats would go right up there. Now a lot of it has been re-sedimented in after ceasing that dredging. And it's no longer a functioning harbor, even though we call it the Harbor Marsh. Um, and so mostly we're looking here at Spartina, Pickleweed, to this tidal channel right here is relatively high tide at the moment, so several feet plus, um, um, uh, I mean higher high tide. And so this is a relatively high level of water. Um, when the tide is lower, you'd see more mud flats and, and sort of channel over there, muddy channels, banks. Um, and then right in front of us here, even though this is protected area, right, the, the, elevated, the elevated hill um, in the direction that we're walking is a cap of a landfill that was just capped about a decade or so ago. So um, yes, it's, it's wetland. Yes, it's area that has been considered sort of wasteland or fungible or movable or changeable land. Um, but nevertheless, uh, uh, an important chunk of protected area here in this part of San Francisco Bay and an important transition from the terrestrial to the aquatic um, uh, goings on. Uh, in addition to the natural connectivity of this protected area with the, from the water to the land, we also have some additional artificial infrastructure that really is um, central now. So for example, this little area we're walking up to um, is uh, an artificial hydrological connection. So right here, if we listen, we can probably hear you can hear the water flowing in. In this case, it's flowing in from the bay uh, through the pipes into a, a, a wetland on the other side of this, um, of this former landfill. And so this provides fresh water connection out to the bay and saltwater intrusion uh, in, uh, through the channels. I shouldn't say saltwater intrusion, saltwater um, flow into those wetlands farther inland that again used to be completely surface on a surface context, hydrologically connected to the bay. But with our fragmentation and addition of roads, et cetera, that's been lost. So we have to have some of these artificial structures to help with that connectivity. So uh, an interesting protected area, an interesting um, opportunity for management, an interesting stewardship challenge going forward. But this is an example of San Francisco Bay salt marsh here in um, the city of Palo Alto. It's also next to the Palo Alto Airport. <laughs>